today we got to change the wheel seal in the front yard in the dirt because the drivers are just like you and when they get home in their trucks they turn their trucks off they slam the door shut and then they go home then an hour before they have to go somewhere they find out that their wheel seal was leaking for a week but they don't know pre-trip and post-trip so they don't even know that's an out of service violation I already backed off the brake I'm gonna take the drum off blown up wheel seal a lot of you guys just clean this up I don't these shoes are 60 bucks and I'm not gonna spend two hours cleaning them so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these guys off toss them and that's the wheel seal as you can see it's leaking so what we got to do here we got to take this hub off to get to the wheel seal. That's the gasket, you're gonna reuse that. This is Volvo. It's a pretty good system. There's no um there's no um gasket in there other than this rubber o-ring. Some of them hubs they have a gasket in here. If you break the gasket, don't worry about it, you could just silicone it back in, it works. So this is a Pro Torque nut, what they call. We got lucky there's none of that double knot and none of that stuff. This, these are super easy. You pop the spring off. Take it out. That's what's holding it in place. And basically, you just take it off. I have a socket for that, but if you don't have the socket, like you could try to, like, if these are not very tight. This is how you set uh, the bearing. So these are not very tight, these Pro Torque nuts. Um, I have a socket, but you could just hit it with a screwdriver or, or, a, or a chisel right here and get it get it off. And then you should get the socket once you get it off. They sell these sockets everywhere, and, they, and they're really cheap. And if you're an owner operator, you need to have one for your truck. See, that's what that was not, not tight at all. And... Uh, Napa Auto Parts carries them. They have them a Fleet Pride and just about everywhere where you buy your truck parts. I think they even have them at the TA truck stop at like 60 bucks. So if you buy one, you can do a wheel seal on your truck. You don't have to worry about anybody. Yeah, that's your wheel bearing right here. So what you gotta do once that's off, you basically just gotta yank the thing off. Much. Sometimes they stubborn like this one. Yeah, the bearing looks good. I'll put that on a clean rag. But yeah, sometimes they stubborn and you just gotta help them. There it is. This one happens to be a preset. That's even better. But uh yeah, it looked like that. Just gotta slide the bearing off. There it is. That's the wheel seal. That comes off real easy. 
You gotta make sure you don't hit the sensor. You may have a ABS light on. Yeah, this one's a little stubborn, so I'm just gonna help it a tiny bit. Not like that, but you get the idea. Oops. It's been there for a while, you know. There it is. So that's the wheel seal. You're gonna go to a truck parts or auto parts or a store, and uh, you're gonna tell them this is what I need, and then uh, we'll be right back. So now that everything's apart, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all that stuff. And uh, what I use to clean is uh, I just put gasoline and a painter's brush. And basically, just uh, you just want to make sure there's no dirt in there, and uh, you want to clean them bearings, and you want to inspect them. What are you looking at on these rollers or any like marks and things in there? This bearing is not perfect, but it's not bad. Um. You will see when a bearing is bad, it's going to have all kinds of chips and bends and scratches in these rollers. So I just clean the smaller bearing, and this is what I was talking about. See these things in here? Like this bearing's not good. See, like right there, that's what you're looking for. Right there, this bearing needs to go. So we're going to go ahead and inspect the race. I expect the race to be bad too. I'm going to clean that up and I'll like run your finger on it. See how it's, it's like it's not smooth. And uh, that needs to be replaced too. If you see a regular wear like that groove where the rollers are riding, like that's a regular wear. You could probably put this back together the way it is. This is the outer one. The outer one wasn't bad. I mean the inner. This is the race that had the bearing in there that we just looked at. And it's kind of rough. We should probably replace it. So I have to replace the race because the bearing went bad. And uh, we're lucky this is aluminum hub. They usually come easy out of the aluminum hub. But what I'm going to do here. I'm going to weld on the inside of the race and what that will do, that will do two things. The weld will shrink the race and at the same time it will heat up the aluminum and a combination of the two should uh, help us get the race out real quick. Yeah, so just like that, just to beat around the race. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using this Craftsman 20 year old uh, wire feed here. So while it's still hot, I'm gonna do turn it around. Now, you do want to have it on a piece of wood because you don't want to damage the studs. So, 
you want to get one of these guys and there's a there's a spot like in the hub like right there and uh, that's where you put the thingy and there's a one on the opposite side hopefully this guy will come right out so you alternate one side another side yeah so that's that that's the race you want to do is uh, clean this thing up now every time you hit it with that little chisel there's a chance that you'll make a mark over here so you want to go ahead and take a sandpaper and something and take that little mark off because that will offset your wheel bearing adjustment just that one spot it's aluminum and it's very easy to get a little ding in there and then the, the race will sit up higher and then you you set up your bearing and then uh, it's gonna sit higher then you put a load on that truck and wait you make a couple of tight turns and it will push it in and then you're gonna have a free play in there um, unwanted free play so you just want to take the edge off of it real quick and uh, I'm gonna heat this thing up. It's cold outside. It's only about 35 degrees out here today. So we're gonna, gonna hit that with a torch and put the new race in there. What I'm doing here, I'm just warming up that aluminum. That wool bearing is still warm. It just came out of the store. We're outside. I want to make this thing nice and warm. The regular Home Depot torch you do Lowe's or whatever I got it. This is aluminum, it will keep absorbing the heat, but at the same time it will keep expanding itself. We need it, we need it expanded. Okay, so while this is being warmed up, I'm gonna unwrap that Chinese berry. It says do not open up until ready to go. Actually, it surprised the hell out of me. This thing is made in France. Take a look at that thing. The one that came out was a Timken and it was Chinese, one of all of them. Um, okay, so that's the, that's the race. Line that thing up. Ain't quite ready to go in yet. Ideal, you want to make it like hot, hot, but it's too cold and this torch is a little too small. You just gotta make it as warm as you can. And then, um, I'm gonna put that race on top of that race. And, uh, they have special tools to get these things like super lined up. And super in there, perfect. So we are backyard mechanics. We don't have these fancy tools. So we'll just do what we have. And you can hear the sound of it when it's going down and when it's not going down. See, now we have it all kinds of crooked in here. So. Get that thing straight. to making that sound that we need. Hear that? 
ways to go yet. Couldn't get that thing really hot, but uh, we'll get it. Alternating. more Here's the trick for that. All right. Now it needs to be hit right here. Now you gotta watch when you get to the end of it. You gotta watch not to hammer the old one in there it happens sometimes we're almost there going slowly but surely you gotta be super patient with it have these nice nice big fancy tool it's got it's got like three legs and you make it to the raise and it's got this big bar up and up in front of it and then you hold it like that and you hit it and it's perfect we don't have that we'll get it done without it more heat it's always better thing is almost seated now when this thing seeds it's gonna make a sound and it's gonna kick the hammer back and you'll know that it's seated hear that sound that's the bottom of it see how that hammer like jumps off of it let's see if this guy is all the way in Check it out from the back side. That thing's in. And now that we're back here, just gonna clean it all up. Get like any shaving that could be out there from welding. And we're just gonna clean the inside really good. Now this is where the where the new sill is gonna be. Now especially on metal hubs, um, cast hubs, you're gonna have a lots of rust buildup up here in this area, and um, you want to sand that off, clean it up real good, so the seal seats in there real easy. This is not bad at all. I'm just going to clean this up. We're also going to clean up this area right here. Because we want everything to be this clean right here. And uh, that all that rust behind it, that needs to go. We got to clean that up. important to clean it so when the new seal comes in it, it, it seats itself nice where it's supposed to be so I'm just 
cleaning this rust off. I don't want to sand this part, the shiny part. I only want to sand the rusty part. In theory, that seal should not go past that. But if it will, I want to make sure it has some place to go. So I'm going to put pressure on that sandpaper on that rusty area. You don't really have to. A lot of guys just slap it right on. But, um, I'd rather that thing is on there good, you know? Use that gasoline to clean it all. Now it's ready for assembly. Yeah, what I'm doing right now is cleaning the ABS ring. Sometimes it could have a little metal shaving in there. And then I will cause the ABS light to come on. I'm just going to clean it. If you have the air, you can just blow it off with air. Or just clean it. If the ring's bent, if you find a little ding in it or whatever, I could cause a ABS light to be on as well. But, uh, for the most part, just just clean it, clean up the grooves. Nice all around. It's the sensor sits on that and reads the pulse off of that. So if you got a, if it's bent or if it has a metal shavings in there, it may not read properly. Some people don't care about that, but I like to have ABS working if I could. So we're now ready for assembly. I'm gonna inspect the bearing one last time. Place the bearing in there and lubricate it with gear oil. Oh, spin that thing. Put some more gear oil on there. So that's that. Now we're going to talk about wheel seals. I use is this cod seal plus and I'm gonna tell you why I use that. So here's a uh, many wheel seals and uh, a lot of them have these metal races on the inside and on the outside. Some have metal races on the inside, some have metal races on the outside. All of those you need special tools and rings and even says it on the box, use tool number, blah blah blah. Well, this guy you don't you lubricate it. You slam it in there. A little bit of, a little bit of that oil on there, just like that. See, this is the part that sits on there. It's the same thing. It just, just slides on there. And then push the guy in, and that's it. It's in there. So. Now you lube the outside, and you're ready to put it in. So, now we'll lube the seal. We got the bearing in there. There we go, huh? Find the hole, push the thing in. That's it. Now, um, some hubs have a little galley on the bottom where the oil hose goes. Some have this filler plug, but uh, um, them filler plugs never go out. So basically, all you got to do you hold it up and fill it with oil.
So, you gotta make sure there is oil inside that hub. This 85W140 is what I had in the service truck. So, it's cold. So it takes a minute for it to like find its spot. But, uh, yeah, it's in there. I'm gonna lubricate this guy. Now, this spacer came out of there. That's the spacer that presets the bearing. It sits between the inner bearing and the outer bearing. I'm not gonna put it in there because I changed the bearing and race. So I'm gonna go without that and we're gonna we're gonna preset the bearing, the new bearing to uh its own little free play. So again this is the easy easy one, this is Pro Torque. It's only one single nut. That's the socket that I'm using. The socket will fit probably at least half of all the trucks that are out there. These are Rockwell axles. They use them on freight liners and Volvos. So, I'm going to tight this thing, like tight, tight, as long as it's spinning, just to kind of like seat everything in there, you can go a little further up, it still spins, it's pretty tight, a lot of people use these fancy super torque specs and all that kind of stuff, but uh, some guy said if they're too tight, then you don't get the fuel economy, but this is an $8,000 truck, so. Then, you lose this guy, and then you tie it by hand. And you just snug it in there, with your hand, spins, no free play. And I'm gonna put the spring in there. Spring that holds it in there. You gotta make sure that spring is in there and it's seated and it's tight and it's where it's supposed to be. And then you gotta turn it counterclockwise. That's how it's gonna get loose. And that's holding it right there. And that's that. The wheel seal is where it's supposed to be. The hop's spinning freely. Now we're gonna now we're gonna put the gasket in there, put the axle in there, put the brakes on, put the drums on, put the wheels on, and we're gonna go to work. I'm just gonna clean that axle. Because we were cleaning in here. I don't want any dirt on there. I'll just clean that up real quick. Um, wipe it down real quick. Put the gasket in here, that o ring that came out of there. Springs area, we already checked that. Hub is spinning. Everything is good. Now, we gotta find the hole inside there, spin it, get that thing where it's supposed to be. Make sure that o ring is in there and didn't come out, didn't punch out. You know, pinch it, break it, damage it. Put 
these guys on. Tight them. Everything up here is Harbor Freight. This big sock is our OTC from Napa. Okay, so that's that. That's a new wheel seal. Everything looks good. We'll clean this up a little bit. Get their dirt off over there. And, uh, Put the brakes on and go to work. So that's it. Wheelie's tight. And I adjust the brakes. And that's a wheel seal. So. And that's uh, the tools that we used. Not that much tools. That's my little service buggy here. And as always, no fancy camera, no fancy edits. Samsung Galaxy. And we're getting the job done.